through there, I am literally going to be like, I will be interviewing the schools. They will not be interviewing yeah, me. Yeah, as, as, the as right an education Indiana's major, at. there's like, oh, okay. like I'm, I'm being a substitute for my hometown. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm substituting for them, and they're like in such dire need. All right, so okay, we now let's talk about the match. So we have this is Piranha like Plant I, and Wario. I would have guessed like the characters would be switched around, but right now it is. Oh, we need to update the name somehow. Uh, uh, wait, what? I would have guessed. I don't know. Here it's not live for some reason, but I would have guessed that it would have been is. Spaku on Piranha Plant and Max on Wario because no. I haven't seen Spaku play. That's actually not. I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying that's what I've expected. Yeah, that's actually not correct. So I don't know. But ah, really, yeah. here is Spaku yeah. playing some Wario, which. Really fun character, so I'm not surprised he wants to play him some, but definitely something that is new to my little eyes. But Max, a newcomer, haven't seen his face around here before, but rocking the Piranha Planet always has my respect. Okay, uh, for everybody who's going to be tuning in no, on wait, the no. vlog, Spaku is the Wario. Yeah. And Max is Piranha Max Plant. is the Piranha Plant. Disregard the the things that the, or the player camps. Disregard those. They don't okay. they don't mean anything. I don't know how to switch them, so I have to wait for Truman to get back. That'll be all right. At the end of the day. Normally there's but a button. Oh, wait, no. There is a button. Is it? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> wait, but now the names are wrong. Well, that's an easy one. <laughs> I just hit another button. But regardless, decent lead for uh, Spaku in, okay, in the beginning of game one here. Now I can commentate. Battlefield, interesting choice. I feel like Wario likes this for the combos and stuff like that a little bit more than Prana Plant. But Prana Plant will find that long stem shot <laughs> to take Fine. that stack. <laughs> Even I, I know nothing about... Piranha playing. You're the one who I'm, knows it. So like I, I don't even know much about Wario. I have no idea how this matchup goes at all. I mean, I, I think it's kind of bad for Piranha Plant. <gasps> Untackable. But, like, uh, on the same token, Piranha Plant likes to be able to jump in on them. And Wario likes to jump in a whole lot. Like, the landing there is all that stuff. But, like. Ah, all right. <laughs> Fun fact we're switching commentators mid set. Phantom. I got to go play. Bye bye. But. He also has a horrible disadvantage state versus Wario, and Wario doesn't really have to approach him because he just gets waffed the whole time. So it's kind of mixed. I think Brood says it's not too good for a Piranha Plant, but I'm sure especially at this level, Wario has a bit of an advantage. How are you doing, man? Oh, doing great. <laughs> you haven't played yet, have you? I have not. Oh, okay. I'm kind of okay. just chilling, waiting for it. Heck, yeah. Now, you used to, are you still somewhat main Piranha Plant, don't you? Uh, it's, I don't know, main's a good, I'd say secondary probably, yeah. but like, I love the, I love the characters of Blast, so yeah. yeah. Alright, alright. So I was talking a little bit about how it's sort of a weird matchup, because normally Piranha Plant likes you to try to jump and stuff, and Wario loves to like nair and do all that fun stuff yeah. in the air. But like, Wario still, when he gets in, he just gets too much damage. Yeah, I don't think this is a, I don't think this is a very good matchup for uh, for Piranha Plant just because Wario's in air hitbox is just huge. Yep, and he can just kind of smooth around on him with his good air speed and stuff like that. Oh yeah. And Piranha Plant, when he when he swings, is a bit of a commitment compared to Wario can just sort of juke around on him and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, Wario's just very deceptively fast. Exactly, especially in the air. Like he jumps oh, yeah. up in the air and he's one of the fastest characters in the game all of a sudden. Oh yeah. What up? Uh, Spocky won game one. It looks like we're gonna have a character switch coming out from both people. Switch uh -huh. off to Spocky on the patent pending Pac Man. And this Greenwich is his Max. tried and true right here. Yes, sir. It's been for like several years now. Back in Smash 4, ever since I've known this kid, he's played this character. I've only known him for like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be interesting to see Max switching to Greninja. He going up in the tier list a little bit. A little bit, yeah. He used, um, and one thing about Spaku, he uses that um, Galaga a lot more than Pac-Man players normally do. Yeah, so Galaga, one of those, like, tools for Pac-Man, where it's at low percent, it, like, combos in itself, and you can get, like, fair and all this stuff off of it cr crazy. It's just an odd projectile. It, it really is. It's, it, there's nothing you can really... It's, there's nothing comparable to it in the history no, of Smash. No. Which can be said about a lot of his bonus fruit, but yeah. Galaga, definitely one of the most unique. Definitely. And right now we're seeing Max go for a lot of these shadow sneaks. And Spocky just not quite falling for There's it. There's the belt uh, forward smash. Yep, say classic ledge trap there, going to take off that first stock. Yeah, it's just what normally Pac-Man does. You know, he, he gets high percents. He's going to start throwing bells out there. Just Yep, so he got a lot of those different ledge traps on deck. And right there he used the he used the uh, Hydra's little bit of distraction and then threw down the bell again. That's another thing with Spocky. We see um, Pac-Man not normally use that forward smash as much just because... Uh, it's just got so much lag on it, but he throws it out there no problem. Yes, it has that lag, but it's also like it like lingers yeah. for a while, which yeah. is what it, how it catches a lot of people off guard. Exactly. I feel like it once again one of those deceptive moves. 
Definitely. Sam Pac Man's one of those characters, you don't see a lot of good people playing him all the time. Oh my no. goodness. No, the, so only, like, the only character I can think or the only player I can think oh. of is T. Alright, we're switching commentators. Yeah, Here we go. Alright. Back throw's gonna take it. Uh, up 3 1 right now. Uh, Spaku at 99. He's got a lot of a lot to get taken up to do. How's it going, Professor? Yo, what's going on? It's Quill here. I have to take over Jade's spot because he had to go play. All right, all right. How'd your first set? Or did you play your first set yet? Yeah, I, I won. Who'd you play? Uh, I played against a guy named Purify. He played okay. Palutena. All right, all right. Spaku is uh, sort of running away with this one. Yeah. Um, we were just kind of talking uh, how, you know, his projectiles are just so odd. There's not... There's not a lot that can prepare you for it. It's just you kind of got to adapt. Because every, yeah. every Pac-Man player is a little bit different. Right. Especially the way you just saw him try to patrol that ledge there with his uh, side B. There's not a lot of people who, uh, you know, it's just not something that you can. Yeah. The way that I describe how Spaku plays is he does, like, one setup, and the rest he just plays Pac-Man like a pretty good character. Yeah. And he's shown me the light on that, where Pac-Man does have really good normals oh, in this game. Kill. Yeah. It's two stock by Spocky there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's, that's the end. That's game, yeah. I can oh, in mid-set. Yep. All right. 